I have just been on my first outing where the wheelchair has stayed in the car. I only went to Vital Signs to pick up, uh, drop off some t-shirts for more printing and to the pharmacy to get some meds, but uh, the wheelchair didn't get out of the car, not once. What a triumph is that? Just been to uh, Vital Signs to pick up three more t-shirts. Now I was gonna stop there, but I found another one that I just have to have. So she's gonna make me one more next week. I'll show you what these little ones look like later on. The only way I can get coffee to go, um, since I don't have hands, see, spare hands. It's a shame that the only place that I can get a drive through coffee is actually McDonald's. And I haven't actually been there for nearly eight years. I used to go there to use their internet when I first lived here before I had internet. I've never liked McDonald's, but it's the only drive through coffee I can get. And when you're either on a wheelchair or on crutches and all you want is coffee and that's how you've got to get out the car, a drive through is easier. Maybe I need to make it my new normal. But please, can someone else do drive through coffee? Because personal training car in through a McDonald's drive through does not look right. So just back from the doctors and I've got some mega antibiotics just to be sure that I don't have an infection starting in that incision. Interesting conversation in the pharmacy because they've been following my story all along. I went in on crutches and they thought I had a leg and so I was talking about that. I was talking about my t-shirts and all that sort of thing and there was a guy sitting on the bench next to me. Now I hadn't really paid much attention. He was laughing at the conversation and then when he went to pay for his goods he said to the woman, oh it's not much fun having one leg and she noticed as he walked out he had a prosthetic leg now I hadn't even noticed and I'm hoping at some point that I get to that point and that you wouldn't even notice that I have a prosthetic leg either anyway I'm about to get the wheelchair out of the car for the first time today and it's one o'clock so these crutches I'm getting this lolly so the only time that I have actually used the wheelchair today is sitting here in this building I've had it in the car, always, just in case, but I have been to everywhere else that I have meant to go today without the wheelchair on the crutches instead. So I'm feeling um, more and more confident. I'm careful of polished floors and tiles and things like that, but it's dry and sunny today, so I've not had any dramas with that. So I'm feeling quite positive, even though I had the melodrama earlier. Um, the leg's not causing me any pain, and I'm just going to keep on going with the one-legged cycling for now and see how we go. So we've got a lot of people that are saying things like, you're very brave and oh, very inspirational and things like that. And I actually looked up the word brave and uh, it says um, tackling dangerous um, circumstances without fear or something like that. And without fear, I'm not necessarily sure it's without fear. I do have fear. I have all sorts of fears. Fear that I won't be able to achieve the goals that I uh, want to achieve fear that I got an infection and this incision is going to open back up again and ultimately fear that I'll, that will lead to losing the knee and above the knee amputation which is why I was in such a panic earlier. Um, I might not show the fear but I certainly do feel it. Um, I can assure you of that. So far I have spoken to two new clients who had not met before. Neither one of them have been at all phased by my disability so that's making me feel very positive as well. Plus tomorrow and that should be good. So I'm feeling positive. So thank you for watching. Have a good Afternoon.